Hey guys, we're back with more Ask a Sweet Potato where we answer your burning questions about feeding a family. Absolutely. And we got a question from Amy, right? Our girl Amy wrote and asked us a question that really spoke to us as parents. So Amy wrote about how she often gets home from school with the kids, she's got to feed them quick and then get out to like a practice or an activity. Or when you're out at an after school activity and you get home late and everyone is starving oh gosh, yeah. and your heart starts to race because you think I gotta feed these kids in 15 minutes or the world is gonna explode. And you gotta get fed, yeah. otherwise yes. you're gonna explode on the kids. Yeah, right? exactly. So we thought this was a fantastic question yeah. that a lot of parents grapple with and we've got some answers for you. And our first strategy is one that we talk about all the time and we've even written about it in our book, How to Feed a Family, but we really believe in it and it's called batch cooking. And that means if you even just set aside an hour on the weekend to put together a meal that you can pop in the freezer, then you can lean on that meal all week long. And it's great to just pull it out when you're ready for dinner. Some of the recipes that we love are things like soups, chilies, and we even have a great recipe for mini meatloaves that you can make in a muffin tin. And then you can just pop those dishes out of the freezer and heat them up when you get home or before you head out the door for your activity. And one of the reasons we love all those recipes that you mentioned is that they're yeah. easy to double so that you can, if you're making it, then it's dinner that night and then you pop the other half in the freezer and that's why it's called batch cooking. Exactly. And then you have another great strategy that you actually use all the time. It's true. We always joke that one of the smartest things you can do is fall in love with your slow cooker, which is like a wildly unsexy appliance, but it will change your life once you get to know it. The one hurdle to get over is dealing with dinner at seven in the morning, which can seem a little bit weird, but once you get over that, it's life altering. You just spend 10 minutes in the morning putting ingredients in there and you feel so smart when you come home and you can smell dinner. It's like such a relief knowing that you don't have to fly into action. It's truly amazing. And one of our favorite recipes is your chicken chili taco. You don't even have to do any pre-cooking. No, there's no pre-cooking. So you don't even have to worry about sauteing onions in the morning. You just literally put six to eight uh, chicken thighs into the slow cooker some salsa, some garlic, a couple herbs, and set it and forget it. And oh my God, you've never had tacos so good. The other recipes that really suit the slow cooker well are chilies, soups, stews, but even if time, if the morning crunch for you is really where your time crunch is, then even breakfast can come out of that slow cooker. Absolutely. We love oatmeal in the slow cooker. And uh, so, you know, whenever your time crunch is, think about using that slow cooker to your advantage. Yeah. And the last and final strategy we have for you today is what we call the half homemade meal. And we totally believe that you should get some things that are pre-cooked from the grocery store that you know your family loves. So if you pick up a rotisserie chicken and then come home and make a big salad and shred that chicken and put it on top, or maybe make it in some quesadillas, then you're laughing because yeah. that chicken is cooked and done. And there's also lots of things that you could also get at your grocery store. Like I love to pick up these great pre-made quesadillas and then I just make a salad and some vegetables and put on the side. There's also great soups out there that are homemade and full of great ingredients and there's chilies too. So there's lots of things out there that you can bring home and supplement with other fresh ingredients that are in your refrigerator and get them on the table. These meals don't have to take more than 15 minutes and then you don't have to worry about what your family's eating for dinner during that crazy day. And the main thing I think with the time crunch is to know it's coming. I think you're, when you're really in the weeds is when you didn't see it coming. Yes. So our overarching answer to all these kinds of questions is meal planning. But that's a big subject and we wanna go into it in detail. So the next video is gonna explain how we meal plan. So thanks so much for all your questions. Make sure you contact us through all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, with any of your questions. And if you love these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for visiting. See you next time.